Hello, welcome back. Um, oh, sugar, this is embarrassing. Military firing range, range. access key and guard room. I'll bring you back because someone coming. Hello, this is a very, uh, a very strange start for me to be honest. I just walked through a sign which says, well, walk past, should I say, a sign to an entrance to a field which says no access, um, military firing range, followed closely by walking through a golf course. Um, in fact, here we go. I don't want to be hit by any golf balls today or any military firing stuff. Anyway, um, so why am I on the military firing range or stroke golf course? I'm currently on the Pembrokeshire coastal path uh, down in South Wales. Uh, I'm coming out for a camp tonight, to be fair. You would have seen that from the thumbnail already, no doubt. Um, I'll be honest, already, it's like a beach. I'm not, not too keen on the beach, personally. However, I'm headed, my plan is to get up high, off the sand. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how I'll do that at the moment, but we'll see. I'm out of practice. I've just done a whole segment and I just looked and I was actually recording. Anyway, I was just saying, just found myself on the beach, which I guess is all in the name, Pembrokeshire Coastal Path. And uh, you know, unfortunately, it was quite a stony beach because I know the beach is bliss for some people, but I can't stand it. I just can't stand the sand, it gets everywhere. So, I've just come from, from down there and there's a, these steps through the side of the beach and they go up. I'm hoping they take me to the top, away from this sand. Oh, I'm so unfit. Well, I'll be overlooked. Why am I looking down? I've just come right to the end of the peninsula. Right to the end. You can get across onto there by the looks of it. I will go and have a look, but I'll leave my bag here. But I have just seen. I may not be the only person here tonight. I'll go down and have a little look. Definitely not on my own tonight, am I? No idea where them people are. So my bag is up there. People's is down there. Just climbed up here. And there's nowhere else to go from here. Yeah, I'm gonna go back. No idea where they are. So last clip was just up there. Their stuff's obviously here. Obviously planning out in a fire. And then I'm up here. Up 
proper scramble. I did bring me chair. Doesn't look like I'm going to need it. Right, with them being just there, I don't really want to be where they was planning to be, which is a bit of a shame. So, I mean, I was planning to be just here. Maybe even here, off the path a little bit. In fact, I might even still stay here. Had a little, little recce over the island, and then, uh, well, I'll go from there. I'll leave my bag there. So I think this is me. Just here. Uh, I will tell you where everything is. That is moving across two and across two. And in the far distance there, I haven't got a clue. So where I am, those lads pitched up right in that corner down there. So where I am here, I shouldn't actually hear them tonight. Um, but yeah, for now, let's get my chair set up. This is what I mean about sand. It gets everywhere. So I've actually given myself some up. people again. Oh, there's more people coming. There's three lads coming. I assume it's their stuff. Okay, so it turns out those lads turns out they are down there. Yeah, just said hello. Just to let them know I'm here. And be honest, I just wanted to know where they've gone. If it was the same people, I mean. So there's three of them. Uh, I think, I know where I'm at, it's going to be pretty windy. But where they are, they're in between the two, in a bit of a, in a, bit of a valley. They have got a windbreak. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Hopefully these clouds disappear. And we get some nice stars. But I'm not hopeful. Well, I'm not sure we will because let's give 30% chance of rain at three o'clock in the morning. So do our bivy yet. Or do I get the tent out? Ah, I could get the tent out. Set the tent up, the tent up anyway. Bivy next to it. If it does start raining, I could just jump in the tent, couldn't I? Hmm, that's an option. Or if it get too cold, I could just, you know. Anyway. This is almost like social media. Versus reality. Look at the sky that way, absolutely glorious. And I turn around and that big black cloud's coming in. So this this is tonight's bed. Not a bad view. I think you'll probably agree. Yeah, I've just thought actually the perks of having the uh, the bivy bag as well, uh, with there not being much room at all in this bag, this sleeping bag I mean, um, this tent, 
then I can have the bivvy, the bivvy bag lay next to me, which is obviously waterproof with my bag and everything else inside it. So I don't have to have it inside or exposed to the elements. So that's a Brucey bonus, I guess. So yeah. Show you around. If you didn't see the video I did the other week, so I've got I've slept in this. This is the third video I've done on this tent, but only the second time I've actually slept in it. Obviously not much room in there at all, but um, it serves a purpose and I wanted it for exactly this reason. You know, low, really low profile, blends into the view. Um, and yeah, so if you didn't see the video I did it when I slept in the other week, please go back and watch it because I actually forgot to take the poles with me. So it was more like, well, just go and watch the video. If you can do, that'd be great. Ah, he says I've only got one string. I wonder it. And then, and then maybe tie this off. Tie it off. Just stop it flapping around. So just to try and stop it from flapping forward, I've just a little bit of string and something like that. No, I'm not joking. Can you? I can't make it out. Can you see that? You can just about see that. I guess you know. It's as stealthy as we're going to get. So I'll just put the bivvy bag, put me, me main stuff inside the bivvy bag. So what's the gear of choice for this week, I hear you ask? What's the gear of choice, Rob? Oh, well, to be honest, you already know, don't you? If you've been here before, anyway. Bright yellow sleeping mat, which, uh, this is an expert of kit that I'm going to need to upgrade to be fair because this thing is like, well, there's just no point in having one. So why do I use it? If there's no point in having one, if it's that bad, I guess it's like the placebo effect. If I trick my body into thinking I've got one, I won't wake up in the morning with aches and pains. I mean, look at that. British Army, summer sleeping bag. Summer again, yes. Told you before. We're not getting the winter bag out now until the back end of summer. Something like that. What else have we got in here? Oh yeah. The nature hike pillow. Top trick for you. Don't blow them up fully. Just like that. And your head will be nice in there then. Rob's top trick. Top trick, top tip. That is bed for tonight. I much prefer my hammock, I'm not going to lie. Right, okay, so a couple of things to update you on if you've been here for a while. One, I've had a new tripod. I don't like it. But it's Amazon, so you can send stuff back off Amazon after a while, so this is the first proper time I think I've used it. It's the first time I've used it actually. Um, and I can't really, I, I'm not really enjoying it. Second thing, um, yes, I've got new glasses. Um, and these ones have got those, re um, I'm not sure what you call them. They're reflective lenses, whatever they are. So they're react reactive. There you go. Yeah, I've had some new glasses and these are those who've got that re, oh my God, reactive lenses. So they react to the sun, so they turn into almost sunglasses when the sun comes out, hence why they've been a bit dark in this video and I think they might be getting lighter. Third thing, what am I doing on the Pembrokeshire coastal path and this isn't 10B but that's 10B that way, I'll show you that in a minute, that's 10B but that's where I'm stopping. Um, well yeah, just down here on holiday to be honest and I thought it would be naughty not to come out for a camp. 
Uh, we've been here for, I think it's now Wednesday night. We arrived Friday night, so nearly a week. We're going home Saturday morning. Um, I'm actually tempted, depending on how well tonight goes, to actually do another night down here. I mean, it's not very often, you know, you can call that your bedroom, your bedroom when do it, can you? So yeah, so I guess you all know if you subscribed, please do. Still trying to hit that 500 subscribers by August. Um, that's my goal for this year. Um, and if I get there, I'm going to give a hammock away. Um, so yeah, we're closing in on it to be fair. Um, so yeah, just, you know, please do subscribe. It is free. It's, it's free to subscribe. I think that is my life updates. Anything going on in your world? Let me know. So, although I knew I was coming out camping this week, I'd always planned to come out camping. Um, I left it till the very last minute, and I mean the very last minute, to actually pack any camping stuff. To the point where I didn't even put my lighter up. Or my spork or anything. But, yes, we've got some hot chocolate. So let's have a little wonder about. So, that's camp. That looks out towards those two islands, which I told you about earlier on. That's the town of Tembe. So yeah, we're back. That's where camp is. You can just about see my chair. Um, and there's all military land all over there. It keeps everywhere you see it says military firing range. Um, it says when the flags are up, you can't actually go in there. I'm assuming they won't be firing first thing in the morning as I leave here. So we will go and explore that tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna give this a go. Getting in here. Appreciate you can't see. However, it's probably for the best. It's the easiest, almost elegant uh, tent to get into. Just kind of getting and squirrel my way down. What the heck am I doing? Oh, I'm sure I asked myself that in every video. I'm just going to shut the mesh. I'm in. Right, I'm kind of in. I've actually set an alarm for half past one purely because I want to see what the sky's like. So uh, it's now 10. How was it? It's now 10 past 10. So I'm going to try and get some sleep and then uh, get up at one o'clock, have a little wander around, see what it's like. So I'll bring you back then. Cheers. Jesus, dripping. Oh. Right, it's one thirty. <laughs> Just getting up. I know you can't see anything, but it's cloudy as anything. Really, really cloudy. Oh, oh morning. <sighs> it's now up as five. And it's very wet in here. Very wet in here. Yes, most of that is on the outside. However, a lot of it is on the inside. Which does mean my sleeping bag is soaked as well. Current situation. Let's have a little look. Right, it's not due to rain till seven again now, so it's half past five now. This is not due to rain till seven, so I should be, well, yeah. I'll be packed up and gone and stuff before then, I tell you that much for nothing. 
and then the rest of the day it's supposed to be sunny and 16 degrees so nice and warm so i should be able to get my kit dry oh i'm stalling because it's freezing out there well, although i am wet Wet or wet from sweat or what? But I'm wet. I'm a lot warmer than it is, I. Oh, what a view, though. What a view. I have no idea how I'm going to get out of here without getting more wet. <sighs> now, quarter six. Stalling for the last 15 minutes. Oh. Look at that. Yep, that's my sleeping bag. sleeping bag and it's absolutely soaked. Right, the time is now 6.03, 6 o'clock. Let's go and have a look if there's any movement at Count Chav. So I took the wind break down. It makes me wonder if they've actually gone. So there can't be three of them in that tent. There's no way there's three people in that tent. The camp chaff I'm calling that one. They've had a fire. It's gonna have burned the ground. They haven't dug a fire pit. Right, let's go and see what this military firing range is all about, shall we? If you made it this far, really appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. Uh, oh yeah, stick with and let's see what this is all about. So this is where we were. That's where my tent was. A little bit of fat, flat grass, nothing more, nothing less. Seen better days, haven't it? Right, boy, I want to be down in that town. The way I come in was down the beach, and then halfway down the beach there's a footpath. However, I'm going to try and keep off the beach. Well, there's the. Uh, there's the military firing range. Yeah. So what's my views on that tent? 
Well, it's a good job we have my bivvy bag, put it that way. Because I wouldn't have had, I wouldn't have been able to put my bag inside. Um, and it hammered down through the night. Uh, so at least it's somewhere to keep your stuff dry. The tent itself, I mean, you saw yourself how wet my sleeping bag was. Um, yeah. Will I use it again? Yes, I've got it. Why not? But yeah, it serves a purpose, I guess. I wanted it because it's discreet and low profile, which is exactly that. Um, and if it wasn't for the rain, I could have left the, the main zip hummed on and just had the, the sort of mozzie net across. And, uh, and a lot of that moisture from inside, obviously the condensation would have been evaporated. So, anyway, almost back now. I managed to do it without going onto the beach, which is over there. This is a golf course. No early morning golfers. If you made it this far, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Please be sure to leave me a comment, like the video, and please do subscribe if you're not already done so. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.